Today, I am super excited to be participating in Kin Community's New Year, New You collaboration. Now for this collaboration, dozens of YouTubers have gotten together to post a new video every day through January with tips and tricks for making 2015 your best year yet. For my part in this collaboration, I am sharing one of my very favorite recipes that is perfect for Meatless Monday. Now this year, I am really concentrating on trying to eat less meat and participating in Meatless Mondays is a great way to do that. It's good for the environment, it's good for your wallet, and it's certainly great for your health. Today, I'm gonna to share with you my recipe for my delicious black bean soup. And the coolest part is, it all cooks up in your slow cooker. So it's super simple, you can just set it and forget it. So for this beautiful soup, I'm gonna get started with some red onion, some celery, and some diced red bell pepper. Now you have two options here. You can either dump these veggies straight into your slow cooker, that will totally work, or if you wanna get a deeper flavor, you can saute them first on the stove. That's what I'm going to do today. So I've just got some oil heating up in a frying pan and to that I'm going to add my veggies. To this I'm going to be adding some minced garlic and some minced jalapeno. Now if you don't like the heat, you could totally leave the jalapeno out, but I totally enjoy the heat, so I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna saute these for another 30 seconds and then we're going to add our spices. Now I love to toast my spices before they go into the slow cooker because the flavor gets a lot deeper and richer. So I am toasting up some cumin, some chili powder, and a little bit of oregano. I'm gonna heat these spices up for another 30 seconds, and then I'm just gonna deglaze the pan using some vegetable stock. I'm gonna pour this whole mixture into my slow cooker, and then I'm going to build the rest of my black bean soup. For this recipe, I'm using canned black beans. You could totally use dry black beans as well, but you'll wanna to remember to soak them overnight to make sure they soften up enough. If you are using canned black beans, you can just dump the entire can straight into the slow cooker. You don't have to worry about rinsing or draining them. So I'm adding my black beans to my slow cooker, and to that, I am going to add some salsa. Now, you could totally use just plain diced tomatoes. That will work just as well. But I find that adding salsa adds even more delicious flavor to the final soup. Super good. And then the last step is topping up your slow cooker with more vegetable broth. How amazing does this look? And I can tell you the house smells incredible already. All I'm gonna do is give this a really good stir, put on the lid, and then set my slow cooker for six to eight hours. Of course, the longer this simmers, the more delicious it's going to be. Once your soup is ready, you can use an immersion blender to puree it. Now, if you don't have an immersion blender like this, don't sweat it at all. You could totally use a traditional blender as well, but I will tell you, you need to be very, very cautious when you are blending hot liquids. So, watch this video for full directions on the safe way to blend hot soup. You just wanna make sure that this is in the soup before you start blending, otherwise you can make quite a mess. Now, I like to only puree it halfway, so it's got that smooth, rich texture, but it also still has some chunks of black beans. That's the best way, as far as I'm concerned. Now that our soup is pureed, we're just gonna add one more delicious element. We are going to squeeze the juice of two limes into our soup. This is gonna give it a really refreshing, tangy flavor. I promise you, you do not wanna skip this step. We're gonna give this a good stir, and then it's time to serve our soup. I like topping mine with a little bit of sour cream, some fresh avocado slices, and some fresh cilantro. How amazing does this look? Totally effortless to put together, and the final result could not be more delicious. I hope you'll give this tasty recipe a try, and if you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo, because you know I love seeing what you're coming up with in your very own kitchens. And of course, be sure to check out all of the other awesome videos in this New Year, New You collaboration. You will not regret it.